Hello Horror Hounds, I wanted to put together a short recommendation video for a very short lived British TV series that doesn't get talked about enough. If you love vampires, you have to watch Ultraviolet. No, not the Milijojevic Ultraviolet. I'm talking about a 1998 UK television series written and directed by Joe Ahern, starring Jack Davenport, Susanna Harker, Philip Quest, and a certain gentleman called Idris Elba. The series stars Jack Davenport as Detective Sergeant Michael Colfield. His best friend and partner Jack goes missing the night before his wedding. Michael is his best man. By the way, Jack's played by Stephen Moyer, who turns up later on as Bill Compton, yet another vampire in True Blood. Investigating Jack's disappearance leads Michael into the path of a secret paramilitary vampire hunting organisation supported and funded by the British government and the Vatican. Has that caught your attention? Recruited by this shadowy organisation, the things Michael sees and learns leave him questioning who is right or wrong and who poses the greater threat. Are the vampires humanity's secret allies or the architects of our downfall? As one vampire points out, we all share this planet. Would an immortal super predator step in when their food source becomes capable of destroying itself and the planet? How would they treat us with the benevolence and understanding accrued over centuries? Or would they view us as cattle? The head of the vampire hunting organization is under no illusions. Our free range days are over, he says. But Ultraviolet is much more nuanced in its approach to right and wrong. Are the vampires trying to tempt some of us, groom some of us over to their way of thinking? Or are they trying to pick those key individuals and enlighten them as to the danger that humanity poses to itself and the planet? Whilst having its roots in ancient Catholic dogma, the organisation utilises technology and cutting edge science to investigate and learn about its targets. Although the vampires see their efforts as nothing short of a second Spanish Inquisition, the vampires too are organised, mobilised and wield the same scientific and technological advantages for their own ends. And if you live forever, you have lots of time to make elaborate plans. This modern approach to the vampire myth is complemented by the fact that the word vampire is never used in the series. Colloquially referred to as leeches, the vampires are more formally referred to as code fives, the Roman numeral for five being the letter V. As the series progresses, we learn the rules of these vampires and anyone well versed in vampire films and books will find themselves in comfortable territory. But what sets ultraviolet apart from many vampire stories is that the subject matter is approached with a deadly seriousness and realism. There are only six hour long episodes. Ultraviolet is small but perfectly formed. I guarantee once you watch it, you'll want to watch it again. The first episode, setting everything up, is possibly the weakest, but I'd strongly recommend persevering. For fans of vampires, the rewards over a small number of episodes are ridiculously large. Each episode has a standalone story which is resolved by the end of the hour, yet all six episodes are integral to a six-hour overarching story. There are nuances to the character development and relationships that might only be picked up by some on repeat viewing, a second, third, fourth time. So much is reliant on what's not said, what's already understood between many of the characters, that once we're let in on those pieces of individual character history, little actions and reactions from earlier episodes can suddenly be viewed in a completely new light. Ultraviolet is a powerful combination of supernatural thriller, drama, with a slice of social commentary, police procedural, medical thriller, You'll be amazed at the depth and intricacy that the central premise, vampires exist in our recognisable modern world, is explored. 
The situation's a mind for every last drop of drama, hypothesis, suspense, philosophy, and it's so wonderfully underplayed, understated. It never overreaches, never gets too flashy. It's so bloody British in the best possible sense of the words that you will not have ever seen anything like it. If you like your vampires taken seriously as a threat and dealt with without camp, without a wry nod to the audience in a wink, and if you like vampires approached from an angle that you've never seen before, you have to add Ultraviolet to your viewing list. It's available on DVD here in the UK. I'm not so sure about the US. Also here in the UK, I believe it's available on uh, Channel 4's On Demand service. It's certainly available on YouTube for those of you in countries where you can't purchase the DVD. If none of that sways you, I will leave you with this. There's a scene in episode five that sees Idris Elba trapped in a warehouse with four time-locked coffins set to open at sunset, with the sun going down and no hope of rescue reaching him in time. The scene is so tense that you will be shouting at your television set as it reaches its climax.